Hi, in this video I want to try some ideas to make a coil gun stronger. At the beginning I will try to measure a force between two magnets and compare it with a force between a magnet and a steel. To do it I need a magnet and a steel with the same mass. As you can see, I've created a simple experiment. I've measured the force with two different distances. If the distance is longer, the force is stronger for the magnet-magnet system. For my configuration, it's more than five times. But if we cut the distance, the difference decreases. Why is that? The answer is quite simple. If the distance equals zero, the force for the magnet-magnet system and the magnet-steel system is the same. But if we increase the distance, the force is always stronger for the magnet-magnet system. So that means a projectile should be made from a ferromagnetic material. By this the coil will increase the velocity of the projectile more effectively. To explain the next idea, let's think about how the coil gun works. When we turn on the power, the coil creates an electromagnetic field. This attracts a projectile. However, we need to turn off the power at the right moment. Why? Because if we don't do it, a projectile will be attracted to the center of the coil. In the case with a ferromagnetic projectile, we can do some trick. We can switch the direction of the power when the projectile is close to the center of the coil. This makes the acceleration more effective, because the coil accelerates the projectile from both sides. Unfortunately, the power switch is not a simple thing. We need to switch direction in an exact moment, at the level of milliseconds. So, to do it, we need an electronic circuit called the H bridge. But there is another problem. I couldn't find on the market any H bridge for high voltage. This is the reason why I designed my custom circuit for 100 volts. Now I need to create a coil with a short tunnel from both sides. This tunnel will stabilize the acceleration of a projectile.
Unfortunately, my results were disturbed. For the same voltage and an acceleration time, I got different results. I suppose the reason is an even surface of the 3D printed tunnel. The projectile hits 3D printed unevenness and loses velocity. So I need a more smooth tunnel. I found an aluminum pipe, but that wasn't a good choice. The aluminium doesn't attract a solid magnet, but if the magnetic field is altered, there appears a small force. So aluminium is a bad material for my purpose. Fortunately, I found in the store a plastic tube with the same dimensions. Ok, now I have everything to test my idea. At the beginning I will test only one side acceleration. I will try to find the best tour on time which gets the highest output velocity. As I explained it earlier, if we turn on the coil too long, the coil will start to break a projectile. We get the highest velocity close to 45 milliseconds. Now I will try to add the repulsive force by switching the direction of the power when the projectile is close to the center of the coil. As you can see, 15 milliseconds give us the highest final velocity. We could keep the power turned on longer, but that doesn't change the result. So, the final conclusion is as I expected. Both side acceleration is better than one side. This is a well-known fact, but I wanted to test it. When we cool down the coil, the resistance decreases and the power of the coil increases. Unfortunately, I don't have a good thermometer to measure the temperature of the coil, but I can measure the final velocity. In the simple test, the frozen coil accelerates 10% more a projectile than the coil at room temperature. Ok, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.